And that's why we're here. Because today, we're thrilled to introduce a Mac that has been built from the ground up around M1. And here it is. Welcome to Coffee Club. I am your host, Paul Chapel, and this is a coffee break. Uh, yesterday was a crazy day, people. Not only was it Hitler's birthday, which is kind of ironic because we had a verdict in the Derek Chauvin case. Is that how you say that guy's name? The guy that killed George Floyd, the police officer that killed George Floyd. We had a verdict. So I say it's ironic because it was, it was a popular day for marijuana enthusiasts. It's Hitler's birthday, but on that birthday, this white supremacist police officer who kneeled on a black man's neck for nine minutes was convicted. And I cried twice yesterday when that guy, that piece of trash got convicted. And I'm not here to talk about that, uh, by the way. I just mentioned it in passing. I, but that was the first time I cried. Because look, I'm not going to talk about this because anytime I entertain the idea that someone can look at that video of that guy dying and say, oh, well, maybe the police had a point. Anytime I think of someone who can say that with a straight face, I get really, really angry. So we're not going to discuss that. Because anger corrodes your soul. I really do believe that. We're going to talk about the second time I cried yesterday. And that was when Apple unveiled the new IMAX. Now they unveiled some other things, but the IMAX was the centerpiece. They also, let's just go through some of the things. They, they, okay, first thing. The IMAX, colorful new IMAX. They haven't done color like this for IMAX since the original. I think that was in 1998, if I'm not mistaken. They put out a new iPad Pro that has a 12.9 inch liquid retina XDR display with an M1 chip. Apple's new ARM chip that they've made specifically for Macs. They now have it in the iPad Pro. They released the iPhone 12, or will release the iPhone 12, in purple, which really excited my daughter because she has a purple iPhone 11 Pro. AirTag. AirTag is this little thing that you can attach to your keys, so if you lose your keys, you can track it down. You remember Find My iPhone? Same principle. It's really cool. I'm thinking about getting a couple for my dogs. Because if you have a Husky, let me tell you, they are escape artists. They are so good at escaping, they can dig like no other dog. They can dig other fences. My dog, well, one of my dogs, because I have two of them, can get out of his harness when he, whenever he wants. I, I, he's like Houdini, this dog. It's actually my daughter's dog. My dog, my sweet duchess, she has never broken out of anything because she loves her father. Anyway, new Apple TV. They fixed that horrible remote that I have complained about time and time again. But I did not cry for any of these things. I cried for this new iMac, 24-inch iMac. Why did I cry? Because every time I think I'm done with buying an Apple product, I said, this is the last Apple product I'm going to get for a few years. Every time I say that, 
they come out with something beautiful. When, when I bought this iMac and I first saw the design for it, I said, there is no way they can make a better looking computer than this iMac. How, how would they do it? Every essential thing that didn't belong on this piece of this slab of aluminum was taken off. It's so minimalist. I was like, how can they improve on this perfect design? Let's talk about this iMac first, which I bought, oh, in 2009 or so. When I bought this, I thought the same thing. I said, how can they make it any better? And you know what? This is the last time they made a 24 inch was, was when I bought this one. And then a few months later, you know what happened? They released a 27 inch. Okay. I waited till 2018 to buy this one. And I thought then I am done with buying Max for now because they are never going to improve on this design. I really, really believe that. And then yesterday, they released these beautiful colors. I mean, look at this. Look at it. And you know what's so bad about this? I don't want one of these computers. I want all of them because each color is freaking awesome. I started by telling my daughter, we, we were watching this together. I said, I want the blue one. She says, I want the pink one. Is there a pink one? Yeah, there's a pink one, right? I don't even see it right now. She said, I want the pink one. Is this the pink one? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, no, that's orange. So we got the blue. We got green. We got red. We got silver, we got yellow, orange. It does look kind of pink. I, I think she's talking about this one, but it's actually orange. And then we got a purple. Okay, so here's the place I am with this. I naturally wanted blue when I first saw it, because look at the blue. Blue looks pretty damn good. But then I started thinking, no, I want the red. I want the red. because Why? Because I'm still rocking an iPhone 8 Pro. And I do believe this is the most beautiful phone Apple has ever made, even though I have an iPhone. I, I have other iPhones. I have um, an iPhone, uh, iPhone 10, iPhone XR. I still use this one. I mean, for one reason, one thing, I maxed out the flash drive on this one. It's 256, I think. Um, I just, I just, and I, and I like the button. I like the button on the phone. So, I still haven't changed over. I, I, I like the ones without buttons just fine. I'm not saying they're bad, but I just love this phone. And eventually, I'm going to have to replace this phone. But I'm thinking, I want the red iMac because it matches my freaking phone. But then, I saw the purple one. And I was like, wow. A purple computer. Look at it. You can see it in one of these pictures. Let me Let me... Pause it. I mean, it's a freaking beautiful computer. All of them are beautiful. The blue one. The red one. The, I even like this yellow one. Or is this the orange one? I, I don't even know. Whatever this one is, they all look freaking terrific. But here's where, where Apple really makes me angry. This is not even a replacement for my current iMac, which is 27 inches. 
They, I think they actually said during the presentation, this is these new Macs, these new iMacs are a replacement for the current 21 inch iMacs. So that what that means is they haven't even released a replacement for my current iMac yet. So what does that mean? That means I can't, I'm not gonna buy one of these. I'm gonna have to suffer having this beautiful iMac that I didn't think could be replaced for probably, who knows, because Apple doesn't give you a, a time or a date when they're gonna replace something. No, I'm gonna have to wait year after year. It, it may be five years, because that's just how they roll. So that's why I am mad at Apple today because I was pretty much planning to replace this iMac. I, I thought I want to, actually I, I, was, I want to replace it every three years because when I bought this one back here, I waited way too long until it was irrelevant. I would rather have this one, um, retire this one really early so that when Apple puts out a new operating system, I can download it and put it on this Mac right here and test it out while I'm using my newer Mac. That was the plan because I let this one get so old, I can't do reviews on a new operating system because it's so old, I can't even get this one updated anymore. So that's where I am. I want to replace this, but I can't until they release something that's comparable to the 27 inch. And what I think they're gonna do, since they added three inches to that old 21 I, iMac that we they just replaced, they added three inches. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming now that the next replacement for this iMac, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it the iMac Pro, even though it's not a Pro, because they actually did release a Pro. But I'm just gonna assume at this point that the next, iMac is going to be 30 inches, possibly, with the same color scheme, which would be awesome. The same new chip. I, I really, really want a new chip uh, to test out. Um, I have even been thinking about possibly getting one of these new MacBooks with the M1 chips. But again, Apple has done the same thing because I, I think last time when they replaced all their Macs or all their laptops, they didn't replace the top end MacBook Pro, which is the one I would probably want. So maybe I even have to wait for that one, even though I've been tempted just to get the regular uh, MacBook Pro. I think the 13 inch has the M1 in it, right? Yes, this one says it's supercharged, but Apple M1 chip. So I would have to get the 13 inch or the MacBook Air. I think the MacBook Air has the M1. Yes. But as far as I know, the 16 inch is still running the Intel processor. So that's where we are. Apple has replaced every Mac that I didn't want. And the top end models are still waiting for their updates, which is probably going to happen, I don't know, maybe next year. I hope. So that's where we are. I Apple, y'all did me wrong. I hate you. Why do your computers have to be so freaking beautiful and easy to use? You have put me in a state of depression and I'm going to sue. No, I'm joking, of course. But yeah, if you feel the same way I do, let me know in the comments. We can mourn together. And that's all I got. Give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. You know, why not? Just subscribe. You have nothing better to do. And if you're already a subscriber, Go ahead and smash that bell so you know when my next video drops. And I will see you when I see you. Thanks for watching.